Melissa, growing up, uh, was always willing to try new things like uh, gymnastics or cheerleading oh, or uh, softball that I dragged I you into, say. but uh, your, your true talent and heart so was around art and your artistic capability, which you did not get from me, but <laughs> uh, just fantastic. And you uh, endured the crazy things I did, such as our annual fireworks display is uh, making you, what's that? Uh, it's legal now. <laughs> but still stupid. Um, uh, making you drive around in the back seat of the uh, 1970 Chevelle when it's 50 degrees out. <laughs> and, uh, putting up with me and uh, if any of you have had a child or relative that was a pitcher, uh, umpires start to get on your nerves every pitch <laughs> and I got a little bit carried away at one point and Missy had to come out of the dugout and say, Dad, shut up. <laughs> but, uh, so I, uh, I guess the final advice I, I give you uh, is don't est underestimate yourselves. You have the whole world ahead of you and you uh, are so talented and uh, you can do whatever you want to do. And uh, especially uh, out of the way that uh, you handle the little ones, uh, Milo and Oliver. So I hope you have a few of those too. Anyway, thank you all and we wish you the best. It is such an honor to be able to stand next to these two on their special day, and I could not be more happy that today is finally here. When we met at OSU at the before-mentioned Mac Hall, Melissa and I were just baby freshmen. Joe was the cool second year who knew his way around campus. Uh, <laughs> since then, I have loved watching their love story unfold into what it is today. I'm sure others would agree that Melissa and Joe are, were who we all looked up to when finding our future partners. Their commitment to each other and the joy they just naturally radiate when around each other, it paints a beautiful picture of what true love really looks like. I hope you appreciate that art metaphor. <laughs> um, I don't think Melissa will let me talk about her any more than I already have, uh, but I'm going to just say one more thing. You are not going to be able to find anyone more true, loving, or accepting than Melissa. Pair that with Joe's sense of humor, love of Bob Seeger, and PBR, and you have a match made in heaven. Uh, I could go on and on about these two best friends of mine, but we have a lot more celebrating to do. So let's continue to shower them with the love and joy they very much deserve. So please raise your glasses to our favorite newlyweds, Joe and Melissa. Cheers. Uh, I've known Joe his entire life. We are 15 days shy of being exactly two years apart in age, which will tell you more about my mom and dad's schedule in the 90s than anything about <laughs> Joe or me. But I can say that having a sibling this close in age has been a truly wonderful experience. Joe was my first friend. We were inseparable, and we made games out of every little activity, including going to bed. Uh, but Joe was also my first arch rival, uh, as we made each of those little games and activities a fierce competition. Uh, I was there at the earliest stages of Joe finding his way as an individual, as his tastes and interests veered slightly further away from mine. Um, and it may surprise you to know that Joe matured quicker than me, like he was listening to Cat Stevens before he knew what marijuana was. <laughs> <laughs> so I know I didn't always make our relationship easy. But I think we've come full circle, and we've spent time together because we can, not because we have to.
and our differences accentuate our what we have in common. Joe, you're my best friend. I'm very lucky. <laughs> I'm very lucky to have had a front row seat for your growth and accomplishments. And I'm very proud of the man you have become. I've only known Melissa for eight years, give or take, so I don't know much of her journey. The cake was mostly baked, as they say. But I can tell you a little bit about the woman I have come to know. I know a woman who is incredibly generous with her time and energy, uh, a consummate host to all those vagabonds who have crossed her door at one time or another. So if you indulge me for 30 more seconds and raise a glass, I'd like to end with a quote that I think sums up the couple pretty well. The uh, philosophers and poets known as Boney M once said, She's crazy like a fool, wild about daddy cool. Cheers. Yeah.